was a, an artistic interpretation, but there's been no photoshop in front of the of that. And in this room, so there is a window. I left it out in this installation. Where is the window? Where is the window? The window would be at this yeah. side. Oh, um, the size of the window? Is it like an A4 on the paper? Yeah, A4. I, so A4, yeah. exactly. And, uh, but How do you know? You did visit him. No, we never visit Julian, but these are the window sizes in Bernard. Okay. And, uh, but he has to put books in his window because it's not tight. So in the winter, the cold air is coming through as well. And for me, uh, the artistic interpretation was when we would put a window and people could now look outside. They see, of course, different things than Julian sees in Bernard. And it's also about I get the feeling of being locked up, off from the world. If the world is, yeah. How is it possible uh, that a person who is just waiting, uh, not hoping, but waiting to be extradited, that he is now already spending so many years in a prison cell? Uh, there has not been a conviction that he has yeah. to be in the cell. So even if you could understand that the national law says we have to take care that you stay with us until yeah. we decide on extradition, you should not be received perhaps in uh, in one of the castles of our king, our, our yeah. uh, uh, British king, but this is, this is also not for someone who is just waiting. Yes. And how come that, they, that the British authorities have decided because we have better cells in, in, in the yeah. United Kingdom than this. Uh, what, I think what is they, behind? I think they decided because as he refused into the Ecuadorian embassy, what was because of the Swedish extradition order, that they think that he could run off. Sure, and, sure. No, but put him uh, on house. But it's not legal, but, of course. No, no. But we agree on. I think we yeah. agree on that, and it will be disputed here in the court when yeah. when the, it comes to extradition uh, proposal. But if you have to be held in custody because you could run away, is this then the place where you ask the person, please wait? No. Run away? Why, why the British authorities have chosen for such a cell? The punishment you, and torture. But that's, yeah, but both are uh, uh, against uh, the rights. British law. Yeah. So to be held in custody meets the British law, uh, you could dis dis dispute it, but, you could. but this is, if I say, Madam, uh, I'm the President of the Parliamentary Assembly, please be my guest, but perhaps you could wait for yeah. a week and stay here, you would say, sorry, I'm not going to stay in there, not for a day. How come? But you're an artist, so your brains function in a creative way. Why do we do things to a person that might be extradited, but also could get a big prize for doing good things? What, what is, tell me, what is in your... My mind is to kill him. Why? Because he exposed crimes of the government. He, ex he exposed the things we can uh, entitled to know. But uh, I could say, uh, bad luck, Julian, because you already disclosed your secret. So, how can you now still be a, 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 a danger, a threat to the United Kingdom or the United States? Because I think there are so many more secrets we can know about. So many whistleblowers only would trust Julian to give the information. Uh, do you think because they have kept Mr. Assange now for such a long time over there that these the secrets are still relevant. The time is passing by. We go from war to war, from crisis to crisis. And they set an example for every journalist. You know, that when you publish information which could offend powerful government, then we could extradite them. Because this is the president case they try to create with him. This is about all of us. It's about you publish something on Facebook or Twitter, someone sends to you, they could get the idea to us. Yeah. We actually yeah. like him. Yeah. We don't like what he says. When did you make your program? Pro uh, we project? started now exactly a year ago. 
Where did you start? Um, I had an exhibition uh, created for Julian in Leipzig in Germany with uh, several international artists and I created I sell in this gallery too and I talked to a friend of mine, Tom, uh, who's a partner in this project and I told him about the cell and then he said, Manja, we have to bring the cell on the hand. And then he and his wife supported me uh, with creating this and we are now sitting here on the ground. Where did you go to? We were in Germany, so we are the first time talking to them. Take care, take care, because they might expedite you. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we was a little bit joking about this before that we might get as But we was in uh, several cities in Germany, we support the yogic group there when they hold it, which is for Julian, and then we come, we stand there, we talk to the public. As and well. how does the public react? They are shocked. They are shocked? They are and shocked. Would they not say to you, Madam, nice project, but a cell cannot be like this, not for so many years? Some say yes. Yeah. Yes, of it course. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. If you would say in the Netherlands that this is the Dutch cell, nobody would and believe. Many people don't even know that he is in Belmarsh. They still think that he is in this Ecuadorian embassy and uh, talking from time to time from the Balkans, so yeah. because he's blacked out in the mainstream media. Yeah. Yeah. And if the mainstream media says something, they always do it with a little side sentence of the Swedish yeah. allegations. And when well, the Swedish allegations are off the table. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's the rule of law. Whether, whether you have your own ideas, the rule of law says allegations have been checked, are off the yeah. table. Uh, what you say, the overall reaction of people are shocked. They are shocked and uh, many signs and the petitions for Julian, okay. we, uh, yes. we have then at the Richards and uh, promised to support, but I think there must be much more people coming out. Yes. Uh, so I sometimes ask me, where are the demonstrations for Julian like they were there for Nelson Mandela, because he is, a, in a way, he is a Nelson Mandela. I'm an old man, I know that's long, long, long yeah. ago then. We did not have that many people to demonstrate for Mr. Mandela's uh, release. And we did have then a lot of politicians who said, but this is a terrorist, this yeah. is a criminal. When I met with Mr. Mandela after he was released, I said, uh, dear Mr. President, all these people are now very friendly to you, but they yeah. wanted you to hang to the highest tree not that long ago. Actually, and then Mr. Mandela said, don't be so harsh. Don't yeah. Except that people are helping you, so I hope that your project in the end leads that more people are going yeah, to we, say this is our goal. Exactly. This is not this is not a humane treatment of the citizen, and any citizen until proven guilty, you are exactly. not guilty, and especially when you got the information that if you will be extradited, you will never see. Uh, uh, freedom anymore. Uh, exactly. It costed Mr. Mandela 27 years in prison and he was still uh, a great man, but we do not want Julian Assange to stay, to stay for a day in prison. That's exactly. my personal uh, opinion. But it's great that you are doing this. So I, I would say go, uh, travel. Like a few weeks ago, and I told them, uh, my husband and my friends, my dream was that Julian is released and we were sitting inside there and having a drink and he tells me dirty jokes. So <laughs> like a funny... What is in a man's head, but also what is in a woman's head, madam? That's... <laughs> <laughs> but we, I said like, one day I will sit with him in there and then okay. we have a good laugh. Yes, and we Hopefully. could also have a di discussion of philosophy. Absolutely. And dirty. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, can you step inside? Okay. I, I am voluntarily now getting into cell under the condition that I am allowed to get out and not as long, not to stay as long as Mr. Assange had to stay. Okay? And say I said, a paper and something that Julian has in his service well, when you want okay. to write down a sword then can I use it as toilet paper as well or because <laughs> this too doesn't look please try not to use the toilet <laughs> they're very helpful in Belmarsh as at least you can easily get in yeah.
I have some time to think about my test. I left the letter for uh, okay. Mr. Assange. And now I would just um, make a little short, very short video how you feel okay. after this. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart that you came here today and supporting that much life in front of the Council of Europe. How you feel after you was in the recreation period? So. To be honest, not different than before because. Uh, it's great to participate in this project to free Julian Assange, but getting into a prison cell for a minute or an hour or a day, uh, that is a good act of solidarity, but of course uh, I can not imagine how does it feel to be in a prison cell without knowing when you could leave, whether you could leave, and under which conditions you could leave such a cell in which you should not be because Mr. Assange is not convicted. Uh, this is also what I wrote in my letter to Mr. Assange, that uh, I'm writing Mr. Assange from a cell that looks similar to his own, according to the artist, uh, and that my thoughts are with him, because that I think that extradition of uh, uh, Mr. Assange to the United States is not proportional, does not fit in our rule of law system, and that I hope that uh, all member states of the Council of Europe, 46 member states, are aware that they are committed to the values of this organization, including the respect for the European Convention of Human Rights, which includes the uh, respect for fundamental rights and the rights to live in freedom and uh, have access to a free, uh, free trial procedures and not be extradited to the United States. So, uh, Thank you very much for being here to show my solidarity with Mr. Assange. But what Mr. Assange is going through is beyond my imagination. So let's call for the release of Mr. Assange here, now, because he should not be there. And let's hope that your project adds to the a growing solidarity that we should do what we are obliged to do. Free Mr. Assange. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Will you visit Julian? Of course. Thank you. I think it's